Sam from Guitar Village here, and today we're going to talk about five reasons why the Trini Lopez is different to the ES335. Now, for those of you who aren't aware of this model, it was originally brought out in 1964 and made famous by the man himself, Trini Lopez. Today, however, I think Dave Grohl is most synonymous with using one. Now, before we get into the top five list, let's talk about some of the specs. This model I have in front of me is the latest offering from Gibson Custom Shop. It's based on an original 1964 model and it's available in two finishes, either the Cherry or the Ebony, both in a VOS finish. Now, while this is slightly different to the ES335, first up when we talk about specs, let's see what they both have in common. So we have a three-ply maple poplar maple body, very hard to say fast. We've got a mahogany neck with an Indian rosewood fretboard. It's a 12 inch radius with 22 authentic medium jumbo frets. It's got a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length, a pair of custom bucker Alnico 3 pickups, and because it's based on a 64 model, you get a nylon set of saddles and a nylon nut too. In at number one, we're talking about something you can't see. In this case, it's tension. Now, with this guitar, because you've got this tailpiece further back and because you've got the longer headstock giving a longer string length on there, it reduces the break angle and actually makes this a lot easier to do string bends on. In at number two, we're gonna take a look at the tailpiece. Now, while this wouldn't be uncommon to see this on one of the Gibson ES series, this one has a special Trini Lopez insert added into it as well. At number three, we're talking about F holes. Well, in fact, in this case, we're looking at these diamond shaped sound holes on there. They're completely different to the ones on the 335 and they've also got binding on them as well. In at number four, we're talking about the fretboard inlays. So typically on a Gibson ES335 from this period, you'd expect to see small block inlays. This, however, has split diamond inlays. And finally, in at number five, the headstock. Probably the most distinct difference between this and the ES-335, this is based on a non-reverse Firebird. So there's five reasons why the Trini Lopez is different to the ES-335. I had a great time getting to know this guitar a bit better and to be honest with you, I really do think that the extra string length there and the lack of the break angle that the ES-335 have made this a little bit easier on the string bending, but because it shares a lot of the tonal properties the ES-335 has, it's also very versatile as well. You can play anything from blues to hard rock, even jazz. Nice. If you want to find out any more about these guitars, the links will be in the description below. And for tone references, we were using the House Cornell Romany with the settings you'll see going into the Friedman BEOD. Thanks for watching. <laughs>